<laughs> this is always the awkward part where we're waiting for it to connect and show us that it's officially connected. We are, in. We are officially live, but it does say that we are, so we're just going to assume that it is correct. Hi, you guys. Jamie Allen Bishop with Soul Heart Entertainment and Soul Heart Collaboration here. I am interviewing Casper's Abbots, and please correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I probably am, and that's okay. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about him before we hear from him. So if you're just joining either live on Facebook or a lot, or if you're watching the replay elsewhere, we'll upload it to YouTube later. Uh, just so you know, Casper Zabbitt is a legend of his own making. Knowing he is the light in a world of being the example is the best way to, uh, let me, let me start over. Casper's sure. Abbott is a legend of his own making. I wrote that, by the way. Uh, knowing he is the light in a world where being the example is the best way to lead, he has a passion for guiding people to be more authentically themselves in order to increase both their self-worth and their bank account. And he is somebody that I met through an event that we both attended two years ago, two and a half years ago. I think. So we've gotten to know each other over uh, a couple of years. He lives in Latvia right now, which is so very cool. And you'll have to just, um, if you have difficulty understanding his accent, just know that we'll add, <laughs> we will add um, typed live transcription so that you can watch it later. But please help me welcome Casper's Abbott. Hi, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your grateful edification. I really, really love it. And that's the best part that you just think about others, not about yourself. And so here I am. And I'm really, really appreciate for everybody who is coming, who is watching this live and for the upcoming event. I believe that will be just absolutely amazing. I agree. I agree. I'm so excited. So one of the reasons why I'm interviewing Caspers is because he is a speaker at the upcoming community. Blah, 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 blah. I'm stumbling over my words today. I apologize. Uh, community currency event in February, February 18th through the 20th. And he's one of nine speakers. And he is our first speaker, you guys. So he gets to start the ball rolling. I'm so excited to hear what you have to say because I know that you have so much wisdom to share. Thanks, yeah. Oh my days. I'm the first one. That's always the hardest job, but I believe my, my voice will be all, always the same like you. Like, oh, I don't know what to say, <laughs> but, but I hope I will manage it. And uh, because my true, my true self is always that you have to be authentic. That's 10 times more effective than when you're becoming like perfect. And that I learned, like when I started my live videos, I was like crazy. I couldn't talk, you know, because I was thinking so much about myself. But when you put out the focus about, about you, about them, then it comes easy and you can just talk with the flow. And my accent, I don't know about my accent, but I believe everyone will, will understand it. English is not my native, native language, but I try to talk with simple words that everybody can understand it. And That's awesome. they, you do amazing. Hey, listen, you speak English far better than I speak any language that you speak. You speak how many languages? I speak actually three languages, Latvian. I used to live in Canada for half a year. And then I started to understand like more English. Like it, I started to even thinking in English. Then I came back to Latvia. I started to work in Baltic states. It's like three different uh, countries. Learn different languages. After that, I started to work for Scandinavia, learn a little bit Norwegian, a little bit Swedish. And also when I lived in Colombia, I, I had to learn Spanish because nobody talked in English. And uh, no, of course. true story. <laughs> That's I'm true. Gonna, I'm gonna pull up on here um, my, um, I'm gonna pull up our live so that just in case anybody has um, comments on the live, um, and I just want to make sure that it's showing up live. Sure. 
Thank everybody. Sorry, I apologize. I'm still kind of learning this stuff. You guys are so awesome for having patience with are, me. <laughs> those are always interesting. I don't know why, because sometimes when I'm going live, I'm switching like uh, airplane mode, I'm switching do not disturb. Still, somebody calls me, and if, if, it's, if they're not calling on the phone, my computer starts to call. <laughs> That's how the universe is working. It's so true. It's so true. So I just want to tell you, Caspers, that um, your speech is very clear. No problem to understand the words you're saying. So that is what yeah. everybody is saying, which is Thanks. wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so actually, I want a little bit to introduce about who I am as, as we started, and because and what happened with me with my life actually it was like i'm the, the guy who started his first business when he was seven years old I did my second when i was 11 third when i was 15 and after that i went into this uh, sales job i was working as a salesperson and i get into this trap of money trap you know that you need to sell to, to earn money and actually i couldn't live my real life and then everything started to change when my daughter uh, arrived to this world, when my girl get pregnant, you know, for me as a man, it was like really stressful because of finances and about anything, how, how we will live, how we will support her. And I was so depressed that I understood, okay, so something is not going good with my finances and I couldn't even sell like any project. So I learned, like, it's not like I learned, the universe sent me this information, which I, <laughs> catch it up. I read a one blog. I understood, okay, so there is like spiritual loss of money. You need to manage your money. And just like, why, why should I do it? Like six account, why should I do it? But I said, okay, there are no chances. So I should probably try it because nothing, nothing works for my life. And that's how I started to shift it. Like I totally changed my life in the three years. Before that, I was living from paycheck to paycheck like every end of the month i was asking my mom like to borrow 50 dollars 50 euros like it's approximately the same as dollars just for a food because i was even spending my own money for cigarettes you know <laughs> when i get like lost in euros i was not buying a food i was spending for cigarettes and i said oh this is too much too crazy so i read a book easy way to quit smoking i believe everybody knows about the book I read it in one day and I quit smoking immediately. And I get like this small shift in my mind. If one book can change something, then I believe there are like many courses. And so the next thing was this blog about managing money. And you know, like months after months, my life started to change. Then I developed this spiritual loss of money. That was a whole course, like eight weeks from T. Harvaker. I believe he is amazing man. He helped me so much. He's everywhere in my home. And uh, that was actually starting to happen in this magic because I was starting to rewriting my brains. And I get like deep consciously that there are some things outside this physical world. And I learned that there is like mental, like, like four big energy quadrants, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. And from that moment, like everything started to change. I get my salary applied for 30% in the first three months. It's for 50% after that. I closed the multi-million dollar deals, which was like, um, I, it was like, uh, I could not tell, but it's from 5 million to 10 million in, in those boundaries. I closed the first deal, the second deal after three months and all the customers were starting to coming, coming back to me because that's, that was the moment when I understand that it's not just the physical life, what we all learn to be in the school, learn to be in high schools, from our parents, from universities, that there is something that we cannot see with our eyes, we cannot hear with our ears, but there is something. And I start to work on that. And that was like basically big, big shift in my life. And everything changed. I start to, started to afford to live the life I, life I love. I started to think about how to talk, and the main thing is also the language we are speaking, the words we are saying, because if we say it out, that means that we are giving some energy and we live in an expanded world. What we give out, we, it's expanding and we receive it back. So that's, that was just a small, small thing. Why I'm so deep into this spiritual loss. And basically after that, when I meet new persons who are like really, really high successful 
entrepreneurs or businessmen or businesswomen, all of them know that there is spiritual laws. Basically, everyone is meditating, like do meditations. And I remember when I met with Jamie about this toe reading, when we started to talk and when you explain me about this toes, I'm just like, really? Wow. That you know that toes can be relaxed in one minute. So that, that's amazing. And that's what we can do with our mind because that's, that's just my passion. I'm so enthusiastic. I could talk like 24 seven about all this. Yeah. So this is, it. this love is a it, short. It. Yeah. This, um, so talk to me a little bit about T. Harv Ecker, because uh, interestingly enough, Caspers, we have that in common. He is the first, um, he's the first speaker that I heard, and I was fortunate enough to hear him live at an event that I was attending, who, you know, and I had heard of Tony Robbins, and I had heard of a, you know, and even Wayne Dyer, like public radio, he was on public radio over here. So I had heard some of the gurus kind of in passing. So the seed was planted, but T. Harv Eker is the one that made so much sense to me and really shifted my mindset around being of service and being here to better the whole world, not just my own bank account. Exactly. And it yeah. made a big huge difference in how i showed up right it, that, that's so true and that's basically how i find him it was just my sister was sending one quote of the day like sean crocks and i just subscribed it i didn't know what was podcast in those days and on fridays he some, sometimes send it and said send it to me an email and i checked i read it and like hmm very interesting and i listened the code and uh, he was taking uh, a part of Harvecker when he explained like bank accounts, like LTSS account, FFA account, uh, play account. I'm just like, what, what is it? I never know about Harv. I knew about some, some started to interesting about investing and I Googled it. What is LTSS account? And I found his blog about the six money management, uh, six money accounts. And that was the moment when I said, okay, let me do it. And the best was it, I started it immediately. And after two months, I was talking with my sister and my sister said that she is actually, she has this score, she had the course, the spiritual loves of money. And when I heard this, this first lesson, when he explained like when he was rich then he was not happy, then he got into the spiritual world, then he was not happy. And that he finally get like something was talking through him that, embrace the both worlds like spiritual and uh, money world and that shift get it finally into my mind because you know all these limiting beliefs money is uh, money is not growing on the trees money is the root of all evil and all those stuff because every one of us had it had had it subconsciously consciously we understand that we don't have it but subconsciously it's like really really deep rooted and I started to rewriting those beliefs. I started to rewriting, starting to understand what is higher self. And I love that he is always saying there are no accidents in the universe. If you are listening to this podcast, if you are listening to this course, then you are the special one who is needed to be. And yeah, he is the man who changed all my life. And here, here is some, some of his quotes. There are some quotes, like it's everywhere around my house. And also these wealth declarations, those are like, written by me but with his guidance and yeah so he's a man who changed the world and i love that he he never talks about uh, that you have to earn money for yourself he always says write 10 reasons why you want to earn money and it's also 10 reasons will be just for you you can earn it but you cannot contain it like maintain it and today i checked like my 10 reasons why i want to be rich <laughs> they're just like two or three basically be because of me all others are because of my daughter because of my parents because i want to support sports in latvia because i want to create positive global change projects in different ways and that's different fuel because we as a humans if we are thinking only about ourselves then we will be always alone but when we get like this thinking about them that we are all connected, connected, we are all one, 
then the magic starts to appear and that's the universe power universe intelligence many people call it differently but that's the main thing that we are all one and uh, when we are connected with like-minded we can give more energy the best example is if you have a remote control for your tv and if there is like two batteries it can it cannot work with one battery right <laughs> you need to put two batteries that's the same as like-minded people sometimes we alone we can we can go fast but we cannot go far far we can go only together that's why it's really good for retreats like this for communities where everyone can lifting us up and i love the saying of synergy that one plus one is not two one plus one is three one plus one is many and that's the beauty of this life Yes, and for so for those of you who do not know T. Harvecker's work, he does teach um, success principles, and those success principles uh, are geared toward how you divide your money, your income, literally, into various um, percentages in order to fulfill your banks, and there are multiple banks that we fill. With, our, with that money. And that's exactly why I called this retreat community currency, because it is community, which you totally hit the nail on the head with that we cannot do this without each other. And we cannot make the world a better place, show up as better people, improve lives, improve the lives of so many without each other, without that support, without that community behind us. And, Currency is, gosh, you guys, it's the easiest way to do it, right? I, I, you know, money is the thing that we use to exchange that energy with each other and, and how we show up in our money is kind of a reflection of how we're showing up in the world. So exactly. think exactly. about that for a minute. It's something like a time because like how much have we take time for our time? Time is basically the most precious value. And uh, I know that many people are saying you cannot buy a time. But basically, if we talking literally, we can buy time with money, right? If we have money, we can buy some somebody else who will do the, our work. And so that's why I love I love this money things, but not not like talking, but when you embrace both money and spirituality, then the magic becomes. You mentioned about percentages, why it's important, like why are why it's important to have at least like six bank accounts. Because if you show to the universe to higher intelligence, higher power, call, call as you want, or the great spirit, that you can manage it, ma manage the money, it will give you more. But if 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 why why many lottery winners who like wins like millions, they are broke after months or after a year, because they are not used to manage money. They didn't show up show to the universe how to deal with it and that that's the basic thing yeah i get a I, no i say i say that's one of the sayings here in america on the nose you're on the nose that's exactly right you're absolutely speaking the truth <laughs> yeah and that's why it's important because we are like vessels right and um, we can build our vessel only by showing that we we are grateful for that and that's how we're managing everything some people saying that money is not important. If they if they will say your loved one is not important, will that loved one will stay with you? Probably not. It's the same as with money. You have to value it. And because okay. things who, for, for what you are values also are coming to you. And that's yes. why we need to be grateful also for everything. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, oh, I can't wait to hear your, <laughs> I'm so excited to hear your presentation. Um, just to tell you what is being said in the chat out here, so exciting. Obviously, um, this one is not afraid of being front and center in the camera. <laughs> She's nice. so silly. <laughs> What's her um, name? Her name is Bagheera, just like in uh, Disney's The Jungle Book. She was named after the, the uh, she's my mini panther. <laughs> okay. Hello. Um, okay, so it, uh, Cindy Rose, thank you for being here live. My phrase is money. It, uh, money is like manure, meant to be spread around to cultivate for all. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, well, this is like a seed, right? Because, but, but there is also some things like uh, many people are afraid to start a business because they don't have money. And that, that's also what I always want to learn and I will talk about that in our community, that there are two different things. Very different things, very different things. And if you're on the fence about anything to do with money or if you have negative thoughts, feelings and emotions that come up, let's say when you see somebody who is driving a certain car or having a certain lifestyle, if you are thinking thoughts that are not positive and that are not empowering toward them or that's really you just reflecting out there how you deeply feel yeah. about it in yourself. Yeah. And, and if that's, that's showing up for you, you definitely have got to be at this retreat. I'm telling you, it will completely shift your view of the entire world when it comes not just to money, but like Caspers is saying, how we're showing up in the world spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, and therefore how we're helping each other show up in all four of those ways. Exactly. Yeah. And that, that's what you just mentioned. Like uh, when you are not, when you like, regret rich people, you get a disorder in your subconscious belief. So that will be the reason why you will never become rich. So that's why I love this Huna philosophy. It's from Hawaiian, like bless which you want. And if you see a nice car, bless it. If you see a nice, successful people, bless it. If you see athlete, bless it. Because in that way, you will get it into your subconscious. Wow, this is actually a really good one. I really want it and, I, and you will achieve it. And okay, so on that note, and it just came to me this morning. I mean, it's been a thought anyway, whatever. Um, is the, the universe does not recognize sarcasm, you guys. So if you can't bring yourself to mean it the first few times you say it, say it anyway. Say it anyway, because the words that come out of our mouths are the wands that we use to create our lives. So the words are wands. That's, you know, Francis Scovel Shin. And if you haven't read her, Caspers, I highly recommend it. Um, but it's... It's how, how we're, what we're putting out is what we're getting back. So if we're putting out negative things or, you know, those people are always assholes, excuse my French, but, you know, then of course they're always going to be assholes. God wants us to get whatever we want. We are made in his image. He wants for himself or herself or whatever, exactly what he wants for us. So hello, you guys, if you're not living that best life, if you're not living the highest value here on earth that you can, you're not serving God and you're not serving the highest purpose path. So anyway, I could get on that soapbox all day long. <laughs> Me too, tell, yeah. tell us I a little bit about what you are going to present at the retreat in February. As a retreat. At first, I will explain that everybody can do the business with some examples. I will share my story, how I started when I was seven years old. The second thing, I will share you how you can build a business, how to be resourceful. And the third one is how you can build a business and uh, what you have to do with this money, where to invest, where to not invest in the business. And the last finishing point will be actually my keynote. And about that, I will just not tell you right now. That will be really, really amazing because there will be three different, like not three different, but three life, life meaning changing things that you can implement in your life without that money. big reveal, the big reveal. You have to be there to have the big reveal. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I love it. So what it's going to take is um, to, to be present in this retreat is to register in advance. We are asking for a love donation. You can give more, you can give less. It is, we're not gonna turn anybody away for financial reasons, but understand that if you have financial reasons for not investing in yourself, you definitely, definitely need to be there. You definitely need to be present because that's a shift in your mindset that will happen on the weekend of February 18th through the 20th. So like you, you need to just block out all that time because it is going to be a very powerful, intensive weekend of complete and utter mind shift around self-worth, self-value, and therefore your bank account. 
but it all starts inside us, you guys. It all starts internally. Exactly. I can't wait to hear what you have to share, Caspers. Okay, Jimmy. I'm really, really waiting also for this event, and I'm well waiting also for all other persons who will be there because I believe it will be amazing. Yeah. And I'm honored that I have to start. <laughs> so it's a little bit scary from one side, from the second side of half. You just have to be authentic and people know that you are authentic and that's the main thing what I what I'm also trying to explain why to be authentic because in the business you can be rich quick but if you will not be authentic and if you will be uh, rude then it will not last forever it will be just one small point and in the business like you there are like three principles I, I believe everyone knows it they have to know it they have to like it and they have to trust it like trust you and if you lose the trust that's mainly for the forever <laughs> so that's why always like i'm trying to explain that you have to be kind loving peaceful and only then you are becoming like rich because like the biggest principle of rich people and different people that rich people they know that they're first how to be, be then they have to do and then they will have different people they think that they have to have then they will do and then they will be but those are like this difference that you have to start to work on yourself then you can start to help others yay i'm so excited i can't even tell you and just to plug my own uh, speech or talk or or lecture if you will i'm going to point out the the framed images behind your, I believe it's your left shoulder. Um, if you look, that is a vision board, you guys. That's a vision board right there. And it's so important to how we show up in the world. I'm totally gonna plug my own <laughs> during Casper's interview because we all definitely wanna be there for his. His is the first one. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. And mm -hmm. I'm going to be teaching you how to put a uh, vision board together in using feng shui that I'm not kidding you. It will bring things to you magically. Talk about, but that's around mind shift also, right? Exactly. When, when, when are you going to live and when you will talk about this? I would love to see it and hear it. Definitely. Definitely. Um, good question. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm from three to five on Saturday. I'm not positive. You guys, I'll, um, I'll make sure that that's clear. But just so that you know, Casper's is going on Friday, the 18th, I believe it is 1030 a.m. Is that correct? Uh, Pacific Standard Time, that's California time. And that's like, what, 830 your time? Yeah, I think so. All right, cool. So, but we'll definitely put those links in the comments of this live interview. I just want to thank you so much for being here. This has been a great way to get to know you as a speaker and a little bit about what you are about and how you show up. And I'm so grateful for you. Thank you, Jamie. And let's see you in the event. Yes. Yay. Awesome. So definitely register. We'll also put that um, link in the comments. So look for that. And we cannot wait to see you there. It will be an absolutely amazing uh, yes. retreat, virtual retreat. Uh, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. So thank you, Caspers. Yay. Thank you, Jamie. You stay on Caspers. I will, uh, I will end it for our live on Facebook. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for being here live. If you're watching the replay, put hashtag replay in the comments and look for those, um, links both to Caspers, uh, timeline or to when his, uh, speak, speech is happening and when mine is happening. And then um, just keep that date open, February 18th through 20th, 2022. It's literally about two or three and a half weeks away. So bye for now. <laughs>